Netanyahu went all out, seeking to clinch the AU Commission Chair's position for Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed. And it is not surprising that the disappointment is intense. Here's our reporter, Duncan Hayemba, with the reactions from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I think we'll be uh, having that. No, we have it now from Addis. CS Amina Mohammed, as she left the Nelson Mandela Plenary Hall, immediately the election was called. Wearing a brave face after the loss, but her expression told it all. It was a bitter loss after coming too close to clinching the prestigious continental political position. <laughs> Inside the plenary, it was jubilation for the Chad candidate, Musa Faki Mahamat. <laughs> as he was congratulated for winning the seat. It's an election that Kenya had invested in heavily, visited at least 51 out of 54 member states and lobbied intensely. Uh, Kenya's ambassador Amina Mohammed ran a valiant race but ultimately uh, lost to the Chadian candidate. Her candidacy marked the reemergence of Kenya at the heart of the Pan-African project. Kenya is grateful for the, wrong, uh, for the strong campaign she ran. Sources disclose that Kenya might have suffered betrayal after the support it expected turned against her, with allies like Uganda opting not to vote for her neighbor, while Francophone countries ganged up and voted in Mahamat. Kenya congratulates him on a race well won. We pledge to work with him to defend the Pan-African agenda. After running a well-oiled and heavily funded campaign, sadly Kenya has lost the AU election. But perhaps the most shocking or unexpected move was by Uganda not to vote for Kenya when it needed their support most. Will the move spark a diplomatic tiff between the two neighbors? Well, we will be watching. Duncan Haimba, KTN, Nadisababa, Ethiopia.